Hey everybody, so Lent is about to begin and a couple questions I get is what do we do for our family during Lent? So I kind of shared what we did in Advent and now Lent starts tomorrow. So I thought I would share what we're doing this Lent and some of the things we've done for a number of years. Um, so I don't know, I think it's been three years now. I have done a different Lenten devotion. I did above all last year, and this is from Take Up and Read, and it is one of, by far, one of my favorite Lenten devotions. I'm actually just redoing it. Um, with Lent, it doesn't really change. You start on Ash Wednesday and you end on Easter, so any Lenten devotion can kind of work any year, and you just can repeat it because every year in a, you are in a different um, place with your spiritual life, and so you're going to read different things. It's going to be kind of cool to see back where I was a year ago and where I am now. And so, super excited, but above all, and it's from Take Up and Read, I love their devotions. I've done them for Advent and different things, just whenever. Um, the rosary is a part of my daily life, but I like to make it more intentional with the kids during Lent. So that is where I was introduced to All Saints Homeschool. She's on Etsy. Um, she has my Lenten plan. And so this is a cool thing for your older kids who are probably like First Communion and above age because it has things that they're gonna fast from, abstain from, um, things that they're gonna give alms to, uh, dates that they went to confession, how many times they said the rosary, and then it has our daily reminder to say the act of contrition so that they can um, do like a daily, daily clearing of conscience. The other thing, and I've done this since my kids were little, like since I did daycare, is um, Catholic icing. If you go to catholicicing.com, they have this 40-day countdown. So they start off with Ash Wednesday, and every day the kids get to color in another square for their journey to Easter. And so this one can be done by even your two-year-olds and three-year-olds. But you can just go there, check it out. She's got a lot of great printable things. I've done their, her preschool program with my kids, and so it's really fun, and it's a nice one to do for Lent. This year is our first time, actually this is our first time ever doing the Catholic... Um, family crate and so with the catholic family crate this year they actually have a his and hers lexio, lexio divina um they don't have the daily readings but so you get to choose but every day you can write in there for him and her so for me and my husband um the reading the meditation the prayer and our contemplation what we took away from it so it's nice because it's kind of blank it doesn't say read this today so we can do the daily readings that are through church we can do if we're doing a particular book of the bible whatever but they have those so this is something new I haven't done this before um they have these really nice cards so as we're walking through lent they have uh it's called the liturgical art collection so for the beginning of Lent, we'll have this Pray, Fast, and Give for Ash Wednesday. They have one in here for the Feast of St. Patrick because we do have a feast day in Lent this year, March 17th. Um, and then, like, Feast of St. Joseph is in there, the Annunciation, Palm Sunday, Holy Thursday. So there's different little artwork that we can put. They came with a little wooden um, tray. And so we will start with our Pray, Fast, and Give for Lent starting tomorrow. We've done something similar, but this came that came with our Catholic family crate. This also came. So this is our sacrifice jar, and in here are our sacrifice beans. We've done something very similar, but this is what came with it. So we have these sitting out. Um, so every time the kids make a sacrifice, we can go ahead and put that in the jar. On our fridge over yonder, it has a little magnet with pray, fast, and give. So the kids can choose at random, pick one out, and then we'll have different things to pray for. So pray for your priest is on there. So we can do that for a week. Um, you can do it for a day if you want to change it up. You don't have to stick with anything, but you just want something on there each for each day to look at. What are we praying? What are we fasting for? And what are we giving? Um, give up dessert or a sweet this week. That would be a fast. And then a give is write a thank you letter to your teacher. So they have different ones. There's also blank ones. So if your kids feel inspired to give up a certain thing that maybe isn't on the card or they really just want to give something up, you can write them in. So we have these sitting out so you can change them as frequently as you'd like, um, sometimes once a week, whatever. And then it came with this little pray fast and give for Lent. So it's a little thing we can set on our table. Um, we actually have a little setup on our table uh, that fits into a little basket so when we clear the table for meals we can put it away but this is just kind of our daily reminder that it is Lent and so you can find some really cute things at the dollar 
um, spot in Target or the Dollar Tree. I just have a little table runner. Um, you'll see the picture on the, the beginning of this video. Um, but anyway, so sing, it has a little sing, learn a little bit, and then a Lenten exam, and you know, did I pray today? Did I give, did I fast from anything or give alms today? And how did I walk with Jesus today? So kind of a conversation starter for on the dinner table um, and getting your kids involved in Lent. And the other thing that we've done, so we like to do the rosary, start the rosary, make that more intentional as a family. But another thing that we've done is the way of the cross. And years ago I bought when my sister worked at a bookstore, I bought these eight by 10 cards and I would put them up. And then I had a smaller version of it, which we put on a ring. But this year, um, if you ordered your Catholic family crate, you got these ones and they're, they're very nicely done. It has the opening prayer and each day it has, um, or each station is written on the cross and you can go through it. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put up, but I think it's really important for them to see the Stations of the Cross because it, it gets a conversation started. So I'm gonna possibly go get those out and put them up. I haven't decided, but at least I know we have these. And so this is something we can do. And I could even just put these out so the kids can look through them. Um, right now I have them in a bag. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put them on a ring or something like that just so they don't get lost because that tends to be what happens. But the most important thing with Lent is just, it's not always about what we give up, but it's about how we can grow in our faith and how we can become closer to Christ. And so, um, I know the talk has been going around here all week too. Like, what are you going to give up? What are you going to give up? We used to do things like TV, but we don't watch TV. It's not a part of our daily life anymore. And so it's not really something to give up. It's not really anything that we would miss. Um, so just, just kind of be mindful. It's not always about what you give up, but it's about maybe adding in reading the Bible every day. That was a new concept to me because I always thought of the things I had to give up. And a friend of mine did a really good post about doing something that's like not outlandish that you'll never complete it and not something that you'll never miss but something in the middle where you're going to just it's going to bring you closer to Christ as you walk through the Lent season to Easter. So that's kind of what we do for Lent. I hope you found some value in that. Um, if you have questions or comments or things you do please post below and like and share the um, video and like or subscribe to my channel to get further updates or to stay in with what we're sharing here. Every time a new video comes out, you'll get notified. So have a great day, have a blessed Lenten season, and hopefully you have a wonderful Ash Wednesday. Take care and God bless.